I want you guys to salute our sponsor of today's show, and that is NBA 2K Mobile. You pick your favorite team. NBA 2K Mobile gives you your roster of players. And you improve your roster by completing different game modes. You have the tourney mode, you have drills, you have the cruise mode where you can create your own player and play in three on three and five on five matchups. As you level up and complete various objectives in the game, you will get various game cards. You flip those cards over and a new player could emerge. And so while my team started out a little bit weak, I had DeJounte Murray, I had Karis LeVert, I did have Jason Tatum, who's a cover athlete, I had Tatum, I had John Collins and Nurkic. My team has now since changed dramatically. I got 2001 Damian Lillard, or 2012 Damian Lillard, rather. I have Kobe. I have Bill Russell, Jason Tatum. I mean, I got a crazy team, and I'm playing as the Knicks. So, you know, we're, we're championship or bust here. But you can play with past players, present players. It's, it's a great game. Great game to play on your mobile, and it's free. So go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and download NBA 2K Mobile. And for our viewers today, use my promo code Tatum2KMobile to get an exclusive Jason Tatum Pearl Tier card. All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Friday afternoon. Another edition of Fan Fridays, the show where our franchise channel members get to ask their questions and we answer them. CP the franchise here, CK2K in the building. All right, let's start it off real quick, CK. First question comes from Steven Gomez58, and their question is, uh, it was only a matter of time with Pat Beverly's comments, let the fun begin. He's talking about Anthony Edwards. Does he need to get out of Minnesota? He will get out of Minnesota. Okay. I mean, that's that's just okay. what that's just what happens. It's an evolution. Okay. okay. And, then and, he, I, and that's and then no disrespect be... to Minnesota. No. It's just, you feel me, with that personality, he can change the world with basketball. With Where should he personality. go? Not to put you on the spot, it, where should he go? I gotta go, I mean, obviously. Big market? It has to be big LA, New York. To get, have, for him to get the most, and then, again, I played in Minnesota. There's no diss on Minnesota. There's no diss on lower market teams, but he is the type of player that, he, that, that you need to see him. Okay. You need to see him. I like the way this team is constructed and think another year together could be dangerous for the rest of the league. That being said, would an Edwards, would Edwards be what is needed for this team to get at least to the finals table? Ooh. Yeah, I love the, the finals uh, part because, you know, I'm here thinking, like, would it be the, the, the piece to help us uh, take the next step? And I'm like, yeah. And then I read finals. I'm like, ah, well. Yeah, Anthony Edwards is definitely on his way to be one of the marquee guys uh, in, in, the, in the league, not even for just the T-Wolves, but in the league. And, and a team like us that needs that that go-to bucket getter to go alongside of Jalen Brunson and even Julius Randle, I, I'd be crazy to say uh, no to this uh, question. Definitely would be somebody that helps us uh, become a better team, not only just in the East, but in the league. But that finals part, that's the part that, that's getting me. I don't know if I'm going to say it's going to put us – in the finals conversation, not right now, but if he keeps going the way he's going, maybe in the future. But definitely, I'll give whatever it would take to get Anthony Edwards on this team with Jalen Brunson for sure. I would say, first and foremost, I would love to have Ant-Man on the Knicks, right? Ant-Man mm -hmm. on the Knicks, sign me up, hand, sign, seal, deliver, whatever I got to do to get him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's an absolute must. He's continuing to take steps towards superstardom in this league. Um, his second and third years were, were certainly leaps from his rookie year. You're seeing him now on the national stage at the FIBA World Cup, a three-level score or something that the Knicks truly, truly could use. They have one in Jalen Brunson, but they can certainly use more. I think Edwards is – there's two things that need to happen for – uh, Edwards to help lead the Knicks to the finals and, and making it to the finals. You got to be a bona fide team. You have to be a legitimate team and be elite in a multitude of areas. And for me, I think at, he's continuing to mature as a two way wing. So number one, it's defensively. He has to become a above average defender, which he's working his way to being. And number two, I think, which is even more critical is how is he as a playmaker? We've already seen instances, even with this Team USA on their games, they're asking him to be more of a facilitator rather than just looking to score all the time. And I, the way I see that with the Knicks is if you already have Jalen Brunson, who as prolific as he is as an offensive threat, 
you don't want to have too many ball stoppers, right? You need guys that are going to truly make their teammates better. When you look at the the upper echelon, the elite players of this game, whether it's Jokic, it's Tatum with the Celtics, uh, you, go, you go down the line of guys that have been to the finals or been to the mountaintop and won it. These guys make their team better in a multitude of ways, whether it's on a – not just offense. Offense is there, but you need defense. You need playmaking as well. And I think those are the two areas where Anthony Edwards needs to continue to develop as he heads towards superstardom. And secondly, it also depends on the supporting cast, right? If you're going to trade mm-hmm. for an Anthony Edwards, who's leaving? Who's coming back? And what are you left with? Who's the three? Do we have a bona fide wing defender, versatile defender? Who's the four? Do we have a four spacing five that will give Edwards and Brunson some op- some room to operate? I think the supporting cast is a, the question about the supporting cast is equally as important as just you know can Edwards help this team get to the finals that stand alone? Next up, we got Stephen Encarnacion. I hope I said that right. Uh, with the FIBA games going on, how high are the expectations for Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson? Uh, for this upcoming season, uh, Josh did get the bag. He did get the bag. And shout out to Steven Encarnacion, a.k.a. Rare Edition. I think for Josh Hart, the expectations will be the same. The, the same as, as, as they were when he got to the Knicks. To be that guy that can do the little things for the Knicks to help them win games. Whether it's as a rebounder, it's as a playmaker, getting the team out in transition. As Steve Kerr said at USA Basketball during, the, during their journey, Josh Hart doesn't have a position. His position is winning basketball. And so I feel like with him logging as many years in the league as he has... His role is pretty much solidified, and so it's going to continue to do what you do best in helping your team get wins, but most importantly, you want to see him be able to knock down timely three-point shots when the team needs it the most. His three-point efficiency was on a bit of a roller coaster throughout the regular season and the postseason, some big highs and some big lows. We want to see him get to the middle. If he can just shoot the league average from three, and be a guy that defensive half, defenses have to respect, I think Josh Hart will be totally fine. For Jalen Brunson, I think he's he set a new bar for himself. And so anything short of an all-star level performance in, in the next season, I think you would have to look at it as a bit of a disappointment. He, he's what the appetite of the Knicks fans to say, I'm a bona fide player in this league, I'm a borderline or a true all-star in this league. He's got to play like that. He's got to play like the guy that dropped 41 points in the elimination game against the Miami Heat and, and really uh, be that guy that the Knicks can rely upon to, to win games and take them deep into the playoffs. Mm, yeah, I think you said a lot there. I, I think uh, for Josh Hart, uh, especially, I'm going to start with him. Um, for me, I think we need to understand Josh Hart is who Josh Hart is. And I'm saying that in the best way possible, not in a bad way. He got paid because he n- knows how to help a team win uh, by doing the little things. So there's going to be games where he's going to have eight points, seven points, six points. But he's probably going to have about 10, eight rebounds with that. Great defense, high plus minus, does all the busy work. And I think that that's just who Josh Hart is, and that's going to be the plus for us. Bag aside, you got to pay for those kind of guys. We talked about finals uh, appearances and being a team that's going to be bona fide. You need those Josh Hart type of guys. So as far as expectations coming into the season, I'm just hoping for him to continue to do what he's doing now and understand that it is okay for you to shoot the basketball because when you're open and you get opportunities to shoot, we know you can do it. Go ahead and do it. That's really the only change I would ask for him. Other than that, Josh Hart does a lot of great stuff. I feel like that's why they brought him onto the USA team is to continue to do what made him so great for us this past season and for other teams, Portland, New Orleans, Los Angeles. Uh, so I, I think that his role is why he got on the USA team. I think he's going to do a lot more of that. But you you hit it right on the head with Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson showed up. He was an all-star last year without getting the honor. You know what I mean? So for him to go another season and not get an all-star would be a crazy, crazy turnaround, would not be great. Uh, for him, and it would not be great in the eyes of a lot of Knicks fans. So I, I think for him to, to at the very least, get an all-star nod, A, and, and B, uh, continue to lead this team and, and put the, the pressure on uh, some of these other guys and let them understand that, you know, this is your team. Understand that you are the leader. Julius Randle will follow. R.J. Barrett will follow. The other guys will follow. Go out there and take over this team and don't have to come in here trying to be the guy that's trying to fit in. Because that was his quote last year. That's out the window. Come out here, show us your team, and I feel like we're going to see Jalen Brunson 
reach just a whole other level this year. I, I'm not worried about him in the slightest, but definitely the expectations are there and it should be. All right, CK, our last question comes from JJ2552. I believe this is JJ from Brooklyn. And his question goes like this. Uh, salute, which one of our young players do you think is, is going to take the biggest leap this upcoming season? And how vital is it for one of them to show growth for us to take the next step? Love that last part to the question. Look, man, if you know me, even knowing that I've been on this kid's bandwagon since the draft, since we stole him late in the draft, um, I have all my chips on my boy, the starting shooting guard for the New York Knicks, Quentin Grimes. My answer is easily Quentin Grimes. I feel like this kid is uh, understanding what his role is. I feel like he was more concerned about fitting in and playing his game when he was with the starting unit last year. And I feel like he's understanding that he does belong. And he is, there's a reason why the coaching staff and Tom Thibodeau continues to put him in the starting lineup over the likes of a guy like Josh Hart, who we know is a favorite of that coaching staff. I, I expect Quentin Grimes to go out this year and have a bona fide crazy year. I think he's going to be one of those go-to guys that, um, you know, if they're if you know RJ or or Brunson, which doesn't really happen, any of those guys have an off night, you're going to see Quentin Grimes step up and take that spot if it's not an Emmanuel quickly. Quentin Grimes is my number one answer. Um, and the, but to that same point, it is vital for Quentin Grimes to be that answer for sure because. Yeah. He provides something that this this team uh, really thrives on, and that's the defensive pressure. But he also has that ability to be a knockdown shooter when the shot goes in. Quentin Grimes has all the tools, worked out with all the right people this offseason. We know he's putting in the work. We know he's a shooter. It's what he's done in his past. Now it's for it's time for him to show it on the court consistently for the team. And I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be there. He does it. So my money is on Quentin Grimes. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I'm I'm going Grimes as well. I mean, if you think about some of the Knicks' young players, I feel like on this team, Mitch has kind of hit his ceiling, which is a good ceiling, right? It's a it's, it's a great ceiling. Yeah. And the 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 impact that Mitch Robson has on both ends of the floor serves this serves this team very well. You look at Emmanuel quickly. I mean, finishing second in the league as the best role player in the league quickly took a huge jump last year i mean look i would love to see him if he's able to maintain that the knicks should still be in a good spot especially if he can do that in the playoffs it's hard to imagine quickly taking another big jump next year although that would be great with rj you just never know he's so inconsistent you don't know what you're going to get from rj one week to the next one game to the next so it's very hard to predict that he's going to take a big leap but as he is right now still a capable role player you just want to see some efficiency and consistency in this game so that leads me to as you said quentin grimes man i, I think it's absolutely grimes defense you know his defense is there one of the best on ball defenders in the league bar none you look at any statistic any advanced metric quentin grimes it's there it's on the offensive end where i think he will take that leap it's always said that year three and beyond is when things start to slow down for the player they start to get acclimated to the game to the speed of the game they get more comfortable in their role and i think that's what's going to happen with quentin grimes he's going to get more and more comfortable with this team gel with his teammates and now i think you will see a more confident offensive player we all we see those um hints from quentin grimes whether it's a playmaker or putting the ball on the floor or attacking the basket using his handles using his dribble you're seeing those flashes over the last two years i think he's going to continue to put that together you hope that his teammates will trust him give him some more three-point shooting opportunities but the key is he's got to knock it down shot 38 percent from three in the regular season only 24 percent in the postseason that's not going to get it done as a starting two guard he's got to be more reliable from three and hopefully his teammates will trust him to to get the job done all right ck that does it for episode four of fan fridays for you guys at home that want to submit your questions all you have to do is join the many loyal franchise channel supporters for only 4.99 a month you get perks like these and many others that's cheaper than a cup of coffee continue to support the channel continue to support the wave and we'll see you guys next friday man cp the franchise ck2k we out of here man peace